Hey everyone, this is the LEGO City Family House set for 2021. And there's a really, really important disclaimer, something that I want you to keep top of mind, not even in the back of your head, top of mind. As you look at this set and as you watch this video, this is a five plus set. I'm gonna say it again. It's a five plus set. It is not designed for adult fans like myself. It's not designed for teen fans. It's not even targeted towards like 12 year olds, 10 year olds. This is the equivalent of what a couple years ago, a few years ago would have been considered a junior set. Really, really important to consider that context when looking at everything that comes with this. This is one of the first sets to introduce the all new road plate system that may be supplanting road base plates in the future, but that is a huge topic unto itself and a whole thing to really get into in detail and explore the possibilities and limitations of the new system. So I will do that in a separate video or two where I bring in even more of those pieces. In this video, I'm just going to focus on the entirety of this whole set. So this gives us a, a main footprint of roughly uh, 32 by 24, not including the, the ramps on the sides of the road. So that's about uh, one base plate of depth by three quarters of a base plate, you know, standard 32 by 32 base plate in width. The building, the main house is three stories. And yeah, you do have a little carport area down here, which takes away from, oh wow, just took out two of the minifigs with one touch. Powerful finger right there. Uh, the carport takes, out, takes, takes away some of the space from the first floor or the ground floor, but the lower floor is also kind of rotated out. So you have the front room area over there. Ultimately, all three floors have roughly the same footprint to them. In the street, or is it the main driveway? The family has set up a little bit of street hockey. So you got the puck there and a couple of goals, and they can actually kind of hit that back and forth because it's a very smooth surface. It's actually glossy, and that's one of the things that I'll cover in more detail when I really get into talking about those plates. The yard area has dog poop, so that's really important for today's five plus kids, especially, well, not just today's, but for many generations. Got some plants growing up over here so you can tend to those. This is intended to be a place to wash a dog. There's a very nice new dog that's included this year. And with this set, this is almost like a picnic table they got set up here. So it's kind of set up for some nice staycations, I would say. And then there's an area where you can work on your car. This has a, a tool rack, but there's only one tool in it and it's just a wrench. So there's not all that much you can do, but it also has an Octane E, E charging station. So you pull one of these out and plug it into the back of your electric car to charge it. Across the carport or the side driveway here, that's the main entrance. And turning that around, you get to the living room slash family room area, which is pretty small. It just has enough room for a single figure to sit there, even though it is four studs wide. You can only put one person there. And they've got a game controller there, which is one of the nice printed and specially molded ones. There's a console down there and looks like a Ninjago game is being played. So that's a nice little reference. Next to that is the kitchen space and it's not particularly big. Again, there's just enough room for a single figure to be placed in there, but you do have a couple of uh, I don't know if these are supposed to be like a, a half height uh, refrigerator system or just general drawers, but there are cherries down there. That is an absolutely huge blender or juicer. I think it may even be intended to be more of a juicer than a blender, but it's huge. <laughs> I think one of the biggest ones that they've done for minifigs. And then there's a stove with a, a fan range top over it and just a single pan on it. There's a deck balcony or mezzanine with a barbecue grill there. What I really like that they've done here is include studs to hold things. So the, the leg of poultry is actually attached to the thing. It's not sliding around like they often do. The tongs over here, which just use a single exo force uh, hand element that works perfectly fine, they're plugged in to the end. So again, it's not a loose piece to just be sliding around all the time. And then they've got a little bit of foliage representing some flowering vines going up the front of the building. The house actually has a bathroom. Thank goodness. <laughs> Hate it when Lego does houses that seem to be complete and they do not have a bathroom whatsoever. There's just one, but that's okay. It's a lot better than zero. Big sticker is used over there on the side. They've got a wash basin, but no faucet to go with it, unfortunately. Uh, that's the toilet. They went with the teal color. 
as the main accent color in here, which works really well, I think, for restrooms. And then this is the shower area. So this is intended to represent the, the little lip and there should be some drainage in there, but they didn't include like a little grill piece or anything to make that a little more obvious. But yeah, it's just, you know, again, room for one person to operate in there, but I think that works out just fine. And next to that and sharing a wall with another sticker on the other side is one of the kids' rooms or the kids', both kids' room? I, I don't know. Maybe it's one of the, the adults' room. You know, it's a, a kid at heart. Anyway, it's a room. It uh, doesn't have a bed in it or anything, but it does have some recreational activities. So we've got a guitar back there. Obviously, there's been some painting going on. There's a bucket with a paintbrush in it. And I think that's a speaker. Is it a speaker or is it intended to be uh, a washing machine? Could be either. I think it's supposed to be a speaker though. Finally, the upper level is interestingly not as tall as the others. It's significantly shorter, still tall enough to fit a completely random adult minifigure in there standing up, but you know, it just doesn't match up to the, to the height of the others. And I'm fine with that because I, frequently feel like Lego puts too much height into their their floors on buildings which uses up a lot of pieces and when they have uh, designs that are difficult to get your fingers into all that extra height can actually take away from usability but this is perfectly fine all of these spaces are easy enough to get into this has a single bed uh, I don't know who has that katana somebody is a fan of Dungeons and Dragons Obviously. Wait, is that pillow pushed down enough? No, it was not. Now it is. Okay, much better. Whew. Whew. And that is actually representing, well, I was going to say it's actually representing a trophy, but it could represent just a nice, good collectible class action figure. Again, plenty of room to actually get figures around in there. Not a whole lot to do, not a whole lot of detail, but it's not bad. And each of these floors can be removed, so... You've got solar panels up here on the top with the prints. That's nice to see that printed piece used once again. And yeah, you can just take these off and actually change the arrangement a little bit. This isn't really necessary, in my opinion, as a, as a feature, so I like that, but you know, potentially if you wanted to, you could do that. This also the little deck section here comes off and then potentially, uh, let me even go one farther. I could do this. Okay, so there's a little bit of overlap out towards the edge, but I'm okay with that. I just want to, I just want to try it, show you how that would end up looking, how that would work out. You could take a couple of these or one of these levels off and create an entire separate building. Again, keep in mind, this is for the, the five plus crowd. I think a lot of them are going to be trying this out, or at least I hope so, you know? I think that is a handsome looking small building over there. Then you just need some plates or a plate to put on top of this. And you have another small, you know, like a, like an in-law unit or something. It, it works. You know what though? I think I actually like the look of this arrangement more than the box stock version. I don't know. There's just something about it that feels a little bit more balanced and a little bit more interesting, even though I've not really done anything here. I just moved some stuff around. The only thing that's really, really completely missing from this entire build is access. So there's no ladder, there are no stairs or anything to get your figures from one level to the next. I don't think that kids in the, in the age range of five or thereabouts are going to be bothered by that too much, but I am, and I have a right to say so. So there, take that, Lego. The family car is, well, I cannot unsee a Volkswagen Neo Retro uh, bus in this, you know? It just, it, it looks like a Volkswagen design and it's intended to be electric, so this is where you would plug in at your little charging station. And I'm happy to report that this does accommodate two people. There's room for two people to sit down in there you might even be able to figure out a way to get a third in there. It would be interesting to say the least, but at the at the bare minimum, you can easily put two in there. This does use dark azure for its main accent color. That's nice, including these wheels here. I don't know if that's a new color for that or if it's just one that I personally haven't seen. And there is what I believe is also a new print there 
for the dashboard. I have not seen that print before, that 1x2 cheese slope. Here are a couple of the figures with a new color combination for the headgear piece on the left, a new torso print as well, and mid-sized legs. So shorter than standard, but still able to actually bend. Figure on the right looks perfectly fine to me as well. I'm not sure if that's a brand new face. Uh, looks a little bit familiar, but not 100%. I could be a little bit biased by having looked at pictures of this set long ago, but the prints on the backs of the torsos look just fine to me. And there is an alternate face right there, alternate face right there as well. These are good. Here are the other two figures with their street hockey sticks. Obviously a major, major Ninjago fan on the left with the Lloyd, is it a jersey or is it a hoodie? There it is, it's a hoodie. Both of them are wearing hoodies. And they have different colors of roller skates. Nice to see. And for the sake of safety, they both come with helmets. However, for the sake of variability and being able to change what your figures are doing, they also come with additional headgear pieces. Bravo to Lego for that. I'm always asking for that. I've seen a lot of people asking for that and they are following suit more and more frequently. There are no alternate faces on either of these heads, but I'm okay with that because again, both figures are good for what they are. Last but certainly not least is the new dog. And with this tan color, I must call this one BMO. Uh, apologies to everyone who has a dog that looks like this. To me, this is BMO, my family's own miniature golden retriever of almost the same color. Very, very similar uh, style, uh, almost similar face as well. This one looks a little bit more like a puppy though, but just an awesome little dog. Single piece, you know, no posability or anything, just has the stud on the back to be able to attach some things to it in the future. A really nice sculpt, I think. And I look forward to seeing more different colors of this and perhaps different print styles as well. These are the leftover pieces, including the all important extra poop. And here's the spent sticker sheet to show you how many stickers were used and what kind of volume of stickers was used on this entire set. The price here is $60, six zero, and there are less than 400 pieces in the set. The price to part ratio is not particularly relevant here compared to normal standards because there are so many large pieces in this with the large panel pieces, large bricks creating entire walls. And then of course the, inc the inclusion of the large road plates. I'm not gonna give Lego too much credit in the value department for the road plates. Uh, I'm gonna consider them to have similar value to just regular plates, because ultimately, you know, they're, they're just there. You don't do a whole lot with them. I am happy with them. Again, I'll be talking about those more in the future. But overall, honestly, I am not mad at the price of this for the amount of stuff that you get here and the amount of stuff that you can you can do with it. I could easily have seen Lego pricing this higher based on events of recent memory, especially considering that this is like one of the nicer city sets, one of the larger city sets with a major structure. They tend to overprice those a lot. Thankfully, they didn't do this. They didn't do that this time. They shouldn't do that. But honestly, objectively speaking, this is about as good, and I'm just gonna keep knocking people over, this is about as good, in my opinion, as some of the best sets of, of the golden era. My golden era for Lego back in the, the 80s, I guess kind of coming up into the early 90s when they had similar styles with the four wide cars, kind of a continuity of, of the, the classic town sort of style. Like there was some really nice stuff that had great soul back then that a lot of folks of my age uh, look back to with with great nostalgia. Why am I picking these up? I just can't help myself. I'm gonna knock them over again anyway, but still yeah a lot of good feelings for that old stuff and objectively speaking this is at least as good as many of those. I have reconfigured it here as you saw to be a little bit different than than the box stock form and I feel like it looks a lot better like this. There was some like almost negative je ne sais quoi with the box stock arrangement of it. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. There was just something about it that felt boring to me personally. Didn't take anything away from you know what you could do with it. It just didn't quite feel right. It felt a little bit empty and plain, but just sw swapping around a few components helps without uh, quite a lot. 
I feel like there is good value here. And considering that this is a five plus set, are you kidding me? Yes, they could have put this out as a six plus set, seven plus set, eight plus set. I think if they wanted it to be a 10 plus set, that's kind of where I would expect to see more detail in it. And then the price would start going up because more detail requires more parts. They really use so few pieces here, so many large bricks, like one by two by three, and then the one by two by, by five. And again, the, the, the one by four by, what is that, three, I think, uh, for the, the main separating uh, wall in here that has the two stickers on it. There are a bunch of these big panel pieces as well. So this is pretty efficient. There he goes. Pretty efficient in terms of use of parts and just overall, I think it's laid out pretty well. You get some good value. You get some very good play value with this and it's even displayable. Open on the back. Yes, as always, it's a city set. It's not a creator expert set. It's not a modular building. I think it's done really well for what it is and for what it's intending to accomplish. The car is fine. Minifig selection is good. They came with a couple of extra uh, pieces of headgear. And the yard is a little bit lacking. Maybe the yard could have used a couple of additional details, maybe just some small buildable accessories or toys for the minifigs to, to play with. I think that would have helped out. But overall, I have no major complaints with this. So that is that. You can check out the builds if you would like to. Again, I'm going to really get into the new road plate system in an upcoming video. But for now, I'm going to stick to more reviews and keep going through them and hope that you'll stick with me as well. Thanks for watching. Talk to you again very soon.